Why did the papacy burn and ban the Bible? Welcome to Truth in Bible Prophecy. Happy New Year, dear friends. Thank you for continuously supporting our media ministry. Kindly subscribe and share this video to all. Stay tuned. This one is called The Two Witnesses Resurrected. The suppression of the scriptures during the period of papal supremacy was foretold by the prophets and the revelator points also to the terrible results that were to accrue especially to France from the domination of the man of sin, the papacy. Jesus reveals to us a terrible time of persecution for the sake of the gospel in the past and in the future. Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9, what has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. History will repeat itself. Revelation 13 verse 3, And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. As the papal antichrist flexes its muscle and heal its mortal wound, persecution will be revived, enforcing the mark of the beast, a forced type of worship, worship or else eliminating dissenters that will not comply. To John, the exile on lonely Patmos was given of the 1,260 years during which the papal power was permitted to trample upon God's word and oppress his people. Revelation 11 verse 3, And I will give power to my witnesses, and they will prophesy 1,260 days cloth in sackcloth. Who are the two witnesses? What really happened during the 1,260 years dark ages? Revelation 11 verse 4, These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to spite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. For us to determine who are the two witnesses, we have to go to the Old Testament, Zechariah 4 verse 2 to 6. And two olive trees by it, one upon the right side of the bowl and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spake to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what these be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord. Connecting the symbolism from the Old Testament and the book of Revelation, the two witnesses represents the Word of God, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Revelation 11 verse 5, And if anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies. And if anyone wants to harm them, he must be killed in this manner. Verse 5 again says, How can we hurt the Word of God? To hurt the Word of God, is to oppose it, corrupt it, or pervert its teachings. General Berthier marched to Rome, entered it unopposed on February 10, 1798, and proclaiming a Roman Republic, demanded of the Pope the renunciation of his temporal authority. Upon his refusal, Pope Pius VI was taken prisoner. This period of time is an exact fulfillment of the 1,260-year prophecy. The blow was a deadly wound for the papacy but that wound began to heal and continues healing today 538 to 1798 during the 1260 reign of the papacy did the two witnesses the word of god prophesy in sackcloth what is the meaning of sackcloth the meaning of sackcloth is dishonor and obscurity. During the 1260 years, the Word of God was darkened and obscured beneath a multitude mass of senseless traditions. This is the time when the papacy burned and banned the Bible. 
During the Dark Ages, AD 500 to 1500, Rome burned Bibles along with their owners, the Baptist Pillar. According to the Church Council of Tarragona, 1234 AD, no one may possess the books of the Old and New Testaments, and if anyone possesses them, he must turn them over to the local bishop within eight days so that they may be burned. In the two decades after Wycliffe's death, many lollards were burned at the stake, some even with their Bibles hanging from their necks to be burned with them. It was extremely difficult to get a copy, and the existing copies were in Latin. At the Council of Toulouse in 1229, the papacy ruled that common people could not have the Old or the New Testaments in their own tongue. They began searching homes for the scriptures, and people having or reading the Bibles were at times imprisoned, tortured, and even given the death penalty. During the Dark Ages, you could lose your life for having a copy of the Holy Scriptures in your home or reading a portion of the scriptures. Rome did not want the people to come to a knowledge of her errors and of her saving truth of Jesus Christ. What was to happen to the two witnesses near the end of the 1260 year period? Revelation 11 verse 7, and when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. It says in verse 7, when they shall have finished, more properly rendering it, when they are finishing or drawing near to to the time their 1260 year period shall terminate. A beast in Bible prophecy represents a kingdom or a nation. Bottomless pit means a nation with no moral or ethical foundation, an atheistical power. The bottomless pit represents a kingdom with no moral or religious foundations to arouse about the end of the 1260 year period which would make open war upon these two witnesses the moral foundation the word of god any nation which does not build its principles on the principles containing the word of god is destined for ultimate failure did a kingdom appear in the late 18th century to make open a vowed war on the bible yes the nation of France. We are going to look at the history of a nation that rejected God and His Word and placed humanity at the foundation of society. But did France make war on the Bible? She did. And in 1793, a decree passed the French Assembly forbidding the Bible. And under that decree, the Bibles were gathered and burned. Every possible mark of contempt was heaped upon them and all the instruction of the Bible were abolished. The weekly rest was blotted out and every tenth day substituted for mirth and profanity. Today, it is regaining the power it lost after the French Revolution. The beast from the bottom of the spit was atheistic France that made war on the Bible and utterly destroyed it in the French Revolution. Let us now explain some in a few facts about the French Revolution. The two witnesses killed. Revelation 11 verse 8, and their dead bodies will lie in the streets of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Why would their dead bodies lie in the street of the great city? It has to be symbolic because the chapter is already symbolic and it says spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. This would no doubt symbolically represent France. The word of God would lay dead in her streets for the period specified by the prophecy. Why is it called in a spiritual sense Sodom and Egypt? Since this is taken in a figurative sense, we must ask ourselves, what Sodom and Egypt were known for? What was Egypt most notorious for? Rebellion against the God of heaven, stubbornness, and open infidelity. Exodus 5 verse 2, And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel go. Who is the Lord? This is atheism in its highest sense. No other nation so boldly denied the existence of God and resisted His commands as Egypt. Thus, Egypt in the Bible is a symbol of atheism. The people had learned 
the lessons of cruelty that Rome had taught so well, and they now employ those lessons against the Catholic Church. Thus was fulfilled the word of the Bible, for he shall have judgment without mercy, that had shewed no mercy, James 2 verse 13. There was a general celebration throughout France when the Bible was banned, and it was declared that God did not exist, just as the prophecy of Revelation 11 mandated. The French Revolution was the sure result of the oppression of Catholicism. Revolution in France, the sure result of oppression of the Roman Catholic Church, believed to be the Dark Ages. You can see why a rebellion was inevitable with that kind of teaching like the Catholic Church. Atheism of French Revolution is the natural fruit of the tyrannical rule of the Roman Catholic Papacy. Had the people of France known the freedom of the Gospel instead of the tyranny of the Papacy, the French Revolution would probably never have happened. When Satan could no longer deceive man in one way, which is Romanism, he led them to even greater deception. Total rejection of God and His Word. Romanism, atheism in disguise. The papacy hides its hatred to the Bible and changes the Ten Commandments of God. While godless friends, atheism reveals its true colors. The two witnesses resurrected. Revelation 11 verse 11. Now after the three and one half days, the breath of life from God entered them, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell on those who saw them. Three and one half days prophecy is equal to three and one half years. Did it happen? We are about to see another fulfillment of Bible prophecy. In 1793, a decree passed the French Assembly suppressing the Bible just three years after a resolution was introduced into Assembly superseding the decree and giving tolerance to the Scriptures. That resolution lay on table six months when it was taken up and passed without a dissenting vote. Daniel and Revelation, page 535-536. Revelation 11, verse 12. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, Come up here. And they ascended to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies saw them. The decree suppressing of the Bible was passed November 10, 1793. The decree granting toleration to the scriptures was passed three and one half years later on June 17, 1797. In the resurrection of the two witnesses, Bible societies were established like the British Bible Society in 1804 and the American Bible Society in 1816. As the deadly wound of the papacy completely heals, he will ban and burn the Bible again as prophecy predicted. And history will repeat itself, enforcing the mark of the beast, having USA and apostate Protestantism doing his bidding. Jesus is calling you, friend, end time Elijah and modern day Paul to preach the law of God and the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Kindly type in the comment section, Jesus is my bread of life. Endure till the end, friend, and may we all continue to seek truth in Bible prophecy.